Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I haven't done a haul in a hot minute, so it was really fun to pick out some of this stuff while the sale was going on. And I feel like I got some really good stuff and everything like that. So if you are interested in what I picked up, then please keep watching. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I post new videos every single week. So let's go ahead and jump into this haul because it's probably going to be a long video. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is probably the thing I was most excited about and it was definitely the most expensive. This was like my big ticket item and I got the Tria hair removal laser, like at home laser treatment hair removal system, whatever you want to call it. And I am so excited to try this out. It's a laser hair removal that you can do in the comfort of your own home. So I did a lot of research on this and a lot of people said that it does work. You just have to stay consistent with it and everything like that. So I am really, really excited to try it out. I'm thinking I will probably do like, we'll do update videos throughout the months to come and share with you guys my experience and how it works and all that good stuff and do some like before and after pictures probably of like my underarms and maybe my legs. Um, I'm going to be doing it everywhere, but obviously I'm not going to post all that on the internet. So this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. It's actually pretty heavy. I wasn't expecting it to be this heavy and sturdy, but it looks really cool. I actually tried it on my arms last night just really quick and it didn't hurt at all. So some reviews I have heard that it does hurt, but I only had it on the level one. So it goes up to, I think, level five. So we'll see. I, like I said, I will do some more updated videos and show you, show you guys like my experience with it and just some progress along the way. But that's what it looks like. I'm like such a sucker for holiday kits that come out at Sephora and Ulta during the holiday time. They just seem like such good values and you get to try different things and different kits and all that stuff. So I do have a couple of the holiday kits in this haul video, but the next one is this one by Benefit. It's called Sassy Lassie, which I think is so cute. Let me open it up and show you guys. It's so freaking cute. It's in this like little tin can and you open it up. If I can get it open. Inside you get a little pamphlet of, whoa of what's in there and how you can use it. But what's inside is a full size of the Professional, which I've actually never used. I'm really excited to try that out. And then a full size of the Cabral product, which is in the shade three, I believe. And then there is a full size of the Roller Lash Mascara, which I've never tried before, but I know it's really popular. So I'm excited to try that out as well. And then there is a mini size of the Hula Bronzer, which I have tried out the Hula Bronzer and it honestly is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. So I thought that this was such a good value. It was only $39, three full size products and a decent size bronzer in there for only $40. Like, hello, so good. I got another holiday kit and this one is by Josie Maron and it has four different items in there. One is the Nirvana Skin Mist and then you get her original Argon Oil and then a liquid illuminizer and then her new product which is the Skin Finishing Argon Balm. So that's kind of like a makeup primer and moisturizer in one how i've perceived it as you use it and you put it on once you're done with your skincare but before makeup so they call it like a skin finisher makeup primer i don't know i'm really excited to try this stuff out i have used the illuminizer before just as a sample and i mixed it in with my foundation and it was really really pretty but i only had like a one-time use of it so i don't know as far as like the longevity effects of it or anything. And I have used Argon Oil before, not from Josie Maron. Um, it was by Purador actually, and I loved it. I'm just so obsessed with facial mist. You will see later on <laughs> that I'm really excited to try this out as well. I know I keep saying that about everything, but I am just so excited about new products and just stuff to try out. I got an eyeshadow palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this one has been so freaking popular since it came out, and I've been dying to try it out. So I'm so glad that I finally picked it up. It is the Modern Renaissance palette. And this just looks so perfect for fall and winter. You've got so many beautiful, like, oh, oh there went the brush. Beautiful warm tones in there. You do have some of the cooler tones, some shimmers and all that good stuff. It just looks so freaking pretty. Don't you guys think this is so pretty? The three shades that really speak to me is Real Gar, Red Ochre, and Burnt Orange. Those are just so right up my alley. 
This is just so pretty. I can't wait to play with it. Another product from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I picked up the Brow Definer and I got mine in the shade Taupe. Typically in the past when I've bought Anastasia brow products, I always went with the shade Soft Brown, but since my hair is lighter, I wanted to go a little bit lighter on the brows. So that's why I ended up going with Taupe. So you've got the spoolie on one end and then the Brow Definer on the other end. Heard a lot of mixed reviews on this, so Either you love it or you hate it, basically. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be one of the people that loves it. But if you guys have tried it out, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. But just doing it on the back of my hand, like drawing it on the back of my hand, it feels a little dry and a little stiff. So hopefully it'll get a little bit more creamier as I am using it and all of that good stuff. I actually ended up picking up a perfume and I got the Misty Ore Blooming Bouquet Perfume. And I just recently mentioned the Dior what was it called? Absolutely Blooming. And I had gotten a sample of that and I fell in love with it. A toss up between getting this one or the Absolutely Blooming. And I ended up going with Blooming Bouquet because you could get the big size. Like I got the 5.1 ounce for $120. And I believe the 3.4 ounce of the Absolutely Blooming was $124. So you get so much more products with this and it was a couple dollars cheaper. I absolutely love this scent. It smells so good. It's definitely like florally and clean. Oh, it's just, I think I just ate it. <coughs> oh yeah, I just ate it. It doesn't taste good, but it smells good. I bought this concealer from the Sephora collection. It is the Bright Future Green Color Correcting Gel Serum concealer, whatever you want to call it. It's a super long name, but it's just a green color corrector in a concealer form with a doe foot applicator. And I bought this because I've been dealing with a lot of like skin issues lately. Like my skin has been breaking out like crazy. I have no idea what's causing it or if it's like hormones or whatever, but it's been really not fun. So I got this to counteract obviously the redness from acne marks and stuff like that. It had pretty good reviews. So I'm just hoping that this will at least help with the redness on my face obviously it's not gonna like cure anything but hopefully it works I don't know please work I got one more holiday gift set and this is by Caudalie or Caudalie I'm still so unsure on how to pronounce that but it comes with five different items you've got the beauty elixir which is becoming a lot more popular in people's videos I've seen lately and I actually have tried this before and I absolutely love it it's such a good like makeup prep spray or finishing spray or just really like any time of the day spray just spray it on your face it smells really um, earthy so when I very first smelled it, I was like wow like that is strong but it's all from natural ingredients so it's not anything like artificially fragranced or anything like that and then you've got a micellar water a detox mask an eye cream and then a moisturizer I actually did use the moisturizer today underneath my makeup and it felt very lightweight Caudalie has seemed to kind of like come out of nowhere and kind of like change the game with skincare products and stuff like that. So I'm super, super thrilled to have gotten my hands on this and I can't wait to try out all this other stuff. But yeah, I will definitely keep you guys updated on each of these products and how I like them and everything like that. But I will go ahead and say the Beauty Elixir is bomb. I got a one more facial spray and this one is by Urban Decay. It's the B6 Vitamin Infused complexion spray. It's supposed to reduce redness, reduce pores, and absorb oil. So let's hope it does all of that because like I said, I've been dealing with some not so great skin issues lately. So I'm really hoping this will help calm the redness, but this is just a complexion spray that you can spray before your makeup, after your makeup, before your skincare, after your skincare, really any time of the day, just to give your skin a quick refresher. It, it, it does have salicylic acid in it and vitamin E. So some good like skincare ingredients in there. I'm just really hoping that this is like a game changer. Cause if you guys know anything about me or been on my channel for a while, you know I was obsessed with the Smashbox Primer Water, but I ran out and I've been just trying to test out different products to see if there's anything better out on the market that's gonna be a little bit more suitable for my skin type. And I'm hoping that this is moisturizing enough. A lot of the reviews that I saw said people really liked it, but it didn't really give their skin any moisture. And I definitely do need some moisture in these colder months that are approaching. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just really hoping that this is good. If you guys have tried it out, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, but I guess we'll see. Only time will tell. I have two products left and they are both lip products, like what's a haul, 
that lip products. Let's get real. They're both actually by Buxom, and the first one is the Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. I got mine in the shade Nudist, which I believe is the lightest shade in that line of lipsticks. This is what the packaging looks like. It's kind of like big and fat. I like it. It's really pretty. This seems like such a pretty nude online. It feels very like whipped and a creamy texture. Definitely not liquidy whatsoever. It almost reminds me of the NYX soft matte lip creams, but a lot more creamier and pigmented. I've actually wanted to try these for a while. They're supposed to be plumping as well, but they did not have good reviews whatsoever, but I ended up buying it anyways because I'm just one of those people that's like, I gotta try it for myself. I gotta see if it works for me or not. Definitely intrigued to try that out because I love nude lip products, especially ones that are matte liquid lipsticks, stuff like that. Who knows? It might be good, it might be great, it might suck. I don't know. For my last product, I got the Buxom True Nude Lip Foundation. I got mine in the shade Buff, and I have been wanting to try this out for so freaking long. I mean, it's probably been like a good year. I saw Shan XO um, use this in one of her YouTube videos, and it looked beautiful on camera. So ever since then, I, it's definitely been on my list of things I wanted to eventually get. So it's just a lip product that twists up, kind of like a lip crayon, but it's got the slanted applicator. And this is supposed to be like a matte finish, but it's supposed to almost mimic, did something just fall on me? It's supposed to just mimic the natural pigmentation of your lips. And I have very non-pigmented lips, if that makes sense. So I ended up going with the lightest shade. That's what it looks like on the back of my hand. It's more of a like peachy pink shade, very light nude, but I love extremely light nudes. That is just what speaks to me the most. I love it. It's what makes my heart beat fast and slow at the same time. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys, that completes this haul video. I've been like on another level today, I feel like, and I didn't even have coffee today, but I'm like so hyper. I think it's because I'm so excited about all of this stuff and just talking about it with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it and just sharing with you guys these new goodies that I got. I will definitely have to keep you guys updated on what I like, what I didn't like, or anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment on if you've tried any of this stuff out, if you want to try it out, or just anything, your thoughts on this video, anything like that, leave it down in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys and hearing back from you and all of that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.